Boyfriend organizes an amazing Batman-themed 30-second birthday for his girlfriend who always wanted one but was told it's for boys only. Okay, let me set this straight. This is gonna be the known fact. If the Hammer of Justice is unisex, then so are the birthday parties themed around said superhero. And honestly, I don't think anybody's ever too old for a birthday party, so good on you, my dude. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going into a new subreddit, hopefully, that catches on pretty good called r slash straights being okay because, you know, people have been asking our the straights okay and you know some of them actually are plus i got to admit this is actually the very first wholesome subreddit i've actually covered on the channel in all of the videos i've done surprisingly enough none of them have been wholesome so hopefully this turns into a good trend on the channel because honestly i gotta say yeah i could definitely use a little bit of wholesome you considering actually over the past i think week and a half i've been having to deal with the beer virus because uh, it, it ain't easy being wheezy so you know we could use some wholesomeness all so if you guys like to be absolutely amazing show your support nancy more videos like this in the near future because hopefully i would like to do more of these videos in the future because wholesome is good be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications maybe check out another video or two afterwards that'd be darn dandy of yous last night my husband was drunk and kissed me and said you are the hottest girlfriend i've ever had and i was like i'm your wife and he was like oh my god that's awesome i gotta say i haven't said this line verbatim but i have been this surprised when plastered whenever I find something out because I, I got to admit sometimes I'm stupid I, I have my friend who has a dog and I got like I really love this dog and he says well you can come see him every single time and he's like really I don't know I will tell you this I am very easy to please when I am absolutely plastered I can guarantee you this right now if I am drunk and you give me a plushie I will be content my wife just pulled me into the other room and I thought she wanted to have a serious talk but she wanted to give me M&Ms without the kids seeing yeah no sometimes even you got to sneak snacks around just because you know those kids will probably want some regardless of what the snack is they are going to want a little bit the moment my dog and husband realized I was in the car beside him I just love the fact that him and the dog have the exact same expression I thought you guys would appreciate that when I got married instead of doing the Artabelle bouquet toss, we decided to have everyone, regardless of gender identity and marital status, try to catch a Pusheen to see who would be the next one to adopt a cat. I love the fact that somebody did this because yes, cats very much do need adopting, but I also love the fact that somebody misinterpreted the Pusheen cat and accidentally thought they saw a boulder getting thrown back at the crowd. How my husband and I decide on dinner sometimes. Okay, rabbit got a plate, give rabbit pizza. Rabbit okie dokie on this. Jeez, this is cute. Now y'all making me want something like this. Just all been to Irwin got engaged and apparently her fiance is American. She is 21 and they've been dating for six years. I wonder if his family lives in Australia slash works in conservation because imagine just being a random 15 year old tourist at a zoo and having a meet cute with Steve Irwin's daughter, lol. Apparently that's exactly how they met. Bindi just happened to be giving tours the day his family visited. Love is unreal. How is this not a teen rom-com yet? It gets better. Terry is also American and met Steve Irwin the same way, by chance at the Australian Zoo in 1991. Terry was devastated when he immediately offered to introduce her to his girlfriend Sue until Steve called Sue over and a dog came bounding up. Multi-generational love at first sight. My favorite part of the story is how Steve and Terry met that it was literally love at first sight. He saw her in a crowd and froze, which was a bad thing because he was sort of wrestling a crocodile at the time. Okay, that's gotta be some kind of special attraction there because like dude's mid-wrestling a crocodile and thinks, oh look, that lady is absolutely beautiful. And part of the reason I want to go to Australia so badly is just to see like the whole like Irwin family conservation at the zoo and everything it just seems like a very wholesome story and I love everything they've been doing for years when I was at the lake there was a group of college guys jumping off a cliff and they were all giving this one dude in their group crap for wearing a life jacket when no one else had one and he goes quit it I pinky promised my girl I would wear it and I think about that a lot dude don't knock a pinky promise those things are legit ways to keep promises okay also props to the dude for wearing a life jacket after saying that because like all serious anybody could have just said okay yes I pinky promise and then not done it well but this dude out here actually doing it okay kudos to you man I wanted to die after my ex left me but then I met this lassie that does weird stuff like this with me life is about growth hey look dude if you could find somebody who will gladly do weird stuff with you just for the sake of having fun that is somebody who your relationship is gonna stand the test of time I hope you guys have the best life and honestly I gotta say I wish I could find somebody like that who does weird stuff with me that would just be a great life 
life. I think I can name at least two friends who would do stuff like that, and I gotta say, probably I think I'm off to a pretty decent start. My wife trying to convince me we should adopt a child because she really wants another one, but the first two pregnancies seriously jeopardized her health. Me, who was adopted and always wanted to provide a loving family for a child who needs it just like I got to have, waiting for her to finish so I can tell her, let's do it. The more that I think about it, the more I come to realize that some of the best people that I've known were actually kids in the foster care system, so it doesn't seem like it would be a bad chance to give those kids in the foster care system a chance to have the same lives as those people. The more I see something like this, the more I kind of think, yeah, no, that's probably something I could see myself doing in the future too. I, 24M, know that my girlfriend, 19F, is lying to me. Trust me, this one has a good ending. We were chilling in my room and she said, I just thought of a lie that I tell you sometimes. I paused my game and asked her to go on. Sometimes, she said, I say I need a hug from you when actually I think you're the one that needs a hug. She's a keeper. I am right, because guys honestly do need hugs from time to time. Even if they, they don't say it, yeah, no, dudes could use a hug from time to time. I think a lot of times dudes have grown up around the whole be a man, be tough, and don't show emotions kind of thing. Those guys need hugs too, even if they don't feel like they're okay to say it. This blade reminds me of my wife. Strong and very sexy. Somebody able to clarify and see if this is actually a line from the show, because if it's so, I absolutely love this. What is wrong with my sister and her husband? Absolutely nothing. They're strengthening their bond by being chaotic dummies together, and that's beautiful. Yeah, honestly, for me, I gotta say, relationship goals look like being chaotic dum-dums together. That That's very much the type of relationship I would want. My BF is so freaking corny. He asked me if I knew how to whistle, and of course I made the whistle face, and then he kissed me. You would your dumb flirt tactics. I love you. Yeah, not gonna lie, I, I, in my past relationship, I actually did stupid stuff like this. Cooking and cleaning is a basic life skill, not a gender role. Yeah, I'm honestly kind of wondering why this needs to be said, because really it should be right up there with learning how to ride a bicycle. If you see me looking homeless in Walmart, it's because my boyfriend has upped my confidence to its max level, and you can't convince me I don't look bomb as F in barbecue sauce stained sweatpants. Yeah, I'll tell you this right now, anybody that looks just comfy as they can be, just doesn't matter how fancy they have to look, If that, as long as they feel comfy, that could be like, an oversized hoodie and sweatpants. That's attractive. Like, I don't know what it is, but like anybody that can just feel comfortable in their own skin, that, that would, that's what looks nice. It's that whole look of being the most you. That's what I like. A couple of people over 80 years old win a prize from a couple cosplay competition for their costumes from the legendary Legend of Zelda saga. The couple says that they dress up like this for their grandson who loves this game, and that's why they came like this with him to make him happy. I gotta say, when families can do cosplays together, that's just one of the best things you can see out of an anime convention because I gotta say I think one of my favorite cosplays that I've seen was a family where they went as Goku, Chi Chi, and then they had their baby son who I think was maybe one or two at the time go as baby Gohan. I wish I could find that photo. I know that I took a picture of the family just because I absolutely love what they were doing and unfortunately I can't find it but I know it's somewhere. Give boys romantic physical attention. I don't even know how many guys I have been with or talked to say they have never had someone hold them or kiss their foreheads or play with their hair. I've had a boy break down in front of me because I held him to my chest as he got sleepy and he hadn't ever had someone hold him like that. This is not right. Boys deserve physical affection just like everyone else and not just in the lewd way. They deserve to feel loved and cared for just like the ladies. Fellas, if she don't let you cry on her shoulders and full embrace for hours and cathartic release for years of loneliness and trauma, she's not the one. Yeah, no, like it's really much something that is a good trait when you just let the other person just vent wholeheartedly and it doesn't matter the matchup. Just let your significant other show emotion. I have a confession. Uh, when my hubby gets stuck on a hard part of a video game for a a long period of time, I'll look up the solution on my phone and give him vague suggestions to push him in the right direction. I've been doing this for six years. Keep doing it. For more years. Definitely. That, that keeper. Keeper. I can overhear my husband doing the reading lessons about a mouse in a house with our kindergartner. Special voices and everything. And I'm reminded for the umpteenth time that marrying him was the best decision I ever made. You know, I started to realize also with doing this subreddit and everything, it's actually starting to have a little bit of a good effect on my mood. So I would very much love to see this do well because I'd love to do more. Women are so adorable when you compliment their dress and the dress has pockets. LOL. Hey, that's a really nice dress. Woman, thanks. It has pockets.
And then she puts her hands in them and shows you, <laughs> lol. And look, just because it's a common thing to see women with purses don't mean make the pockets on the pants minuscule. And that's one thing I've always just kind of questioned whenever I see women have to deal with the pockets and complaining about the lack thereof pockets. Why are the pockets on women's pants only able to hold about two nickels? I took the really bad Game Over Wedding t-shirt design and made it more wholesome because love is a beautiful thing. Original is on the left, it's Game Over, and on the other side, New Game Plus. I feel like very much that's an edit that is very well needed because that that shirt is, like, the original version is way, way overused. My man could propose to me with a freaking pretzel and my BA would be thrilled. Y'all are trash for posting pics of small rings and being like, you still saying yes? Yeah, B, put a chicken nugget on my finger. I don't give an F. Just spend your life with me. Yeah, I gotta say, that's one thing I never understood about the whole ring size equaling they love you more kind of deal. Like, it just, it never makes sense. And it just kind of sounds stupid. Like, I love you more, meaning I got you a bigger rock. That, that don't make any sense whatsoever. And that's one of the things I like about the Deadpool movie. Dude proposed to his girlfriend with a freaking ring pop and she kept it. That's, that's definitely a whole lot more wholesome than anybody that can just come up with the biggest rock they can find. When the teacher is doing a and Edward announces she would like to be referred to as Emily, not Ed, okay? I think that's one thing that my grade school system got right out of all of the negative things I talk about them, is that they always had a system where it was like, okay, once your name comes up on the roster, if there's a name you'd rather be called, please say so now, and we'll be able to edit it in so we can do it and be right for the future. I grew my hair out over a year to be Bob Ross for Halloween. My wife was a happy little treat. Okay, that's just awesome. This one technically did get me laid. I met I met a girl at a dance at 15 years old. I asked her to dance during a slow song, and during our small talk, I asked, so, what color is your toothbrush? Just the dumbest, most ridiculous question I could think of. Fast forward eight years at our wedding, and my new wife asks during our first dance, so, what color is your toothbrush? I have never been in so much love. I gotta remember that one. My main icebreaker is always like, do you like bread or something like that? I just found out the dude who invented goldfish crackers made them in the shape of fish because his wife was a Pisces and he wanted to make something for her. Love is stored in the goldfish cracker. You know, goldfish aren't my favorite snack in any way, shape, or form, but I gotta admit after reading this, I like them a lot more. Now I could see why they went with the phrase, the snack that smiles back. Local Museum posts an image of a 1965 school desk inscribed with Benny and Linda. Benny responds in the comments. Yes, I carved that sitting in the auditorium of Central High School my freshman year before leaving for LaSalle. Linda Blank and I are still together after having three wonderful girls and 50 years of marriage. Told my friends in fourth grade I was going to marry Linda, and here we are, heading for 51 years together on August 1st. Smartest thing I ever did in my life was marrying this kind and pretty lady. Thank you for sharing. I gotta admit, I think one of my favorite things about social media just existing is it allows for people to have stuff like this happen, where they can come back on really good memories after a really good life. A hairstylist friend of mine is doing her boyfriend's hair each day they are quarantined. So far, we have Leia, Amy Winehouse, 90s Prom, Cindy Lou Who, and George Washington. Okay, this is just pretty downright awesome, because you make making do with what you got and you're having a blast doing it. Hi, this is my 85-year-old physics teacher. Him and his wife just had a lightsaber fight. Oh, I really hope they had the music to go with this. This just goes to show that growing old is only on the outside. You can still be a child at 85, and this is awesome. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more of these r slash straights being okay videos, because very much I do like the wholesome stuff, and it's something I would like to do more on the channel, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. But with that, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.